so hello guys welcome to max opacity in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to create different unique map styles in geolayers so if you've been using geolayers for a while now you probably know how to do this but stick around you might learn something new because with this method you can create really cool transitions like the one i'm showing right now and with this method you can take your map animations to the next level so let's get into it so before we get into the tutorial if you want to support me you can do that on buy me a coffee or on patreon and if you can't do that, like and subscribe to this channel, it's totally free, you don't need to pay for it. So once you've launched your layers, I'm going to click on this menu icon here and go to create new map icon. Then I'm just going to set this to 5 seconds since we're not going to animate anything. Then click here. So for this, for the purpose of this um, tutorial, I'll be using natural earth, but you can use whichever one you like. So I'm just going to click on natural earth, then click on create. So depending on the speed of your internet, this will take about a second or so, like a few seconds to create. And here we have it. So this is what we have. And I'm going to maybe zoom in to this particular place just to for reference. So next, the trick about creating a unique map map style is combining different layers into one. So again, I'll go down here again. I'm going to toggle this off this labels here then create a new map con but this time make sure you connect it to the main map con to this first one we created so that whenever you move this one the second the map the map you've layered over it will also will also move so i'm just going to click next then this one again i'm going to click on natural earth but this time i'll click it again then i'll move this texture so that some of the mountains and the valleys will not visible i'll move this texture to this to the end here then i'll change the color so i already have a color template that i want to use so i'm just going to bring them up so for the land so i'm going to pick this brown color here like this then for the water i'm going to pick a kind of dark this dark ash kind of like this then i'm going to click apply then create so once that is done, I'm just going to bring this down here and also remove the label, the country label like this. So first I'm going to uh, turn this off, then add an effect to this. I'll add the tint effect to this to give it a black and white effect. Then bring this up. Then for this, I'm going to change the mood to overlay like this. So let me quickly finalize this. So I'll hold control just to finalize just one frame here. So, and now you see that we have this beautiful map style that is unique so again you can duplicate this layer here and you see we have a different style here but for this i'm just going to change this to multiply and you can see what we have here so let me see if i can finalize again and this is great so there are different ways to do this and again let me just delete this and instead i'm going to create a new map con and make sure you link this then click on create so for this i'm going to be using this basic here then i'll make the color the same thing what i have before i'm just going to change this to multiply and this is really really nice so 